Hello, a community of spouses and spouses to be. Today, we're going to continue in our series of the marriage covenant. And I'm just sharing some basic information, practical ways that we can uh, take with us into the marriage covenant for the ones who are desiring to be married or for the ones who are beginning in the beginning stages of marriage. And I've shared a few videos just to kind of give you um, some practical steps or some practical things to just look at going into the marriage covenant. Today, I want to discuss money. Yes, money is a biggie in the marriage covenant. I think money and communication are one of the two marriage killers in a relationship. Listen, if you want to set atomic bonds, if you want to set fireworks, flames, a fire, if you want massive disaster to take place, go into a marriage covenant and not having a plan. Going to a marriage covenant and not having a plan about money is the most worst. Worstest. I don't even think those words are supposed to go together like that. But you go into a marriage covenant and you don't have a plan established about money, you are ready to set a massive atomic bond off in your marriage. Listen, 1 Timothy 6 uh, 10 says for the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil and some people crave money having wandered from the true faith and pierced themselves with many sorrows have a plan established with money going into the marriage covenant this will save you a lot of headaches i am one of the ones who in agreement almost with steve harvey who said that you know you should have more than one account he should have his own account. She should have her own account. Have an account together and you have your savings account. And that's kind of how, you know, for me, I feel like it, that's a way that it, it seems like it would be a little easier. She still have her own independence. He still have his own independence because nobody's is, nobody is nobody parent in the marriage covenant. You know, we are both adults. And so, yes, you work for your money. You work hard for your money. You want to be able to enjoy the, some of the, 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 the money that you bought in. But you do need to have a plan. And then the account that you have together, that's the account that takes care of the main bills. Then you have your savings account where you put money in there to do, uh, uh, to save. And so I believe it's okay to have uh, different accounts as long as you are under some type of agreement, knowing that this is how it's going to flow. The bills go in this account. You know, we see where the money coming at. We see how our checks going. And then we each have our own, you know, individual accounts to be able to do uh, what it is, but still having a plan. You can't just go and take $150 out and just blow it on what? You know, you still should have some type of strategic plan about money two of the most frustrating things i have endured in a marriage covenant with dealing with money has been having not having enough money and it's like oh my god or having more than enough money and still like oh my god like how we have more than enough money and we still like oh my god it's one thing to not have enough but when you have enough you have to have a plan dealing with money. You have to figure out who's gonna be the one paying the bills, who's gonna be the one. And I do believe that both parties in the marriage covenant need to know how to pay the bills. It should be something that you do together. It should be a teamwork. It should be teamwork. Marriage covenant and, and dealing with a, a marriage and your household and your family, it's like running a business. Like that's your investment. You gotta go in there like with a business, with a business mind. Like, look, we're gonna pay this, we writing this down, we're gonna do this this way. Going into a marriage covenant is like starting your own business. I promise you. You want to be very, very detailed. You want to make sure you get all the right information. You want to make sure you get everything down to the T, especially when it comes down to money. Money will make you turn your head, flip upside down, spit green stuff out. Your eyes will be going in and out. You'll start having seizures, mess around and go into a marriage covenant and don't have your money part right. It will mess you up. Atomic bombs everywhere if you do not establish a money strategic plan going to the marriage covenant it's okay to have your own money but you cannot go into a marriage covenant being selfish you cannot go into a marriage covenant saying my 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 this is my check my name is on here so i do what i want to do no 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 establish a plan in the beginning it will make things a whole lot easier easier and run a whole lot smoother going into the marriage covenant money will kill a marriage quicker than anything else i believe because even adultery affairs takes time you know and you can you know you can get but money will tear it down 
establish a money plan going into the beginning. It will save you a lot of trouble. Blessings.